Hi, good afternoon, everyone. We are here with David Lieberman today from TAG, and he's going to get to tell us what some of more of these great acronyms that we keep hearing at SiegeCon 2017 are all about. Uh, welcome. I'm Regina Miller. I'm one of the co-founders with Zapmill, and obviously you're here to see our guest. So, David, if you could just tell the audience out there online and obviously those that are attending the conference who you are and what is your interaction with TAG. Absolutely. Hi, my name is David Lieberman. I am chairman of the Technology Association of Georgia Digital Media and Entertainment Society. Uh, TAG, as some of you may know, is one of the largest IT advocacy organizations in the world. We've got over 34,000 members, uh, 2,000 corporate members, and different societies, 34 in about number, ranging from fintech to health IT to this year we started a society for automotive tech uh, and I happen to uh, work with uh, the digital media and entertainment sector. Oh, fantastic. So could you tell us, obviously there are some really tight partnerships that are happening here in Georgia with the game industry. I mean, obviously that's why a lot of us are here at Siege. Uh, but could you tell us how does TAG interact with the Georgia Game Developers Association, with Siege, with those that are in, you know, just kind of making things happen right now? Absolutely. Georgia right now is, as you know, Regina, mm -hmm. is a fantastic place to be, the growth here. And initially, or tremendously spurred on by the tax incentives initially to the film industry. Right. But as you might know, Georgia this year passed HB 199 and HB 155, right. which extend the tax credits to digital entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, this year to music, which is really exciting, mm -hmm. as well as post-production. So uh, what TAG is, is doing, and, and it's such an honor to be working in this capacity, is right. we find that all of these verticals within entertainment, whether it be music, video games, film, broadcast, have the common touching point of technology. We all use technology intimately. Right. And so to bring an environment where everyone can work together to elevate the arts and entertainment and digital me media mm -hmm. within Georgia is it's a tremendous honor and, 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 and joy working here. Fantastic. Well, obviously you have a pretty strong network and we were talking before we were on camera here earlier and you are juggling quite a few roles. Could you tell me a little bit about Dr. Lieberman yeah. himself and, and just kind of tell us how you've gotten into the industry and what you're currently doing right now? Certainly. Um, and I ended up here, my sitting here is was by no design at all. I grew right. up in San Francisco in the 60s, mm -hmm. um, and my I played in rock bands. I was nice. encouraged my parent, by my parents to take a different route, and yes. <laughs> I ended up studying classical music uh -huh. and getting a doctorate in classical composition, teaching within conservatories, having symphonic performances. Right. Because I grew up outside of Silicon Valley with the advent of Altair computers and, and personal computers at the same time I would dabble with computer programming and writing basic computer games mm -hmm. modeled after things like Oregon Trail and what have you oh, wow. since I was teaching at Oberlin College Conservatory mm -hmm. algorithmic composition to the music students uh, mm -hmm. on a C Unix environment whereby they were writing code to generate the actual music. Oh, wow. That's where, after I had moved to Georgia and I started dabbling with it in myself mm -hmm. and realizing that music manuscript itself could be an interactive event, after I started it, placing interactive elements within the manuscript, I very quickly realized all I'm talking about is a game. Right. So now I publish under... Uh, the Anagraphical Etudes, it's also called uh, Concert Games, mm -hmm. Music Video Games for Live Concert Performance. Mm -hmm. So conceptually, it would be Guitar Hero, but for trained musician wow. uh, on stage, and the audience, the musician then, based on the navigation through the manuscript, the music is being created in real time in front of the audience. That is fantastic. That's fantastic. You. So for those out there that are, you know, kind of just getting into this industry for the first time, I mean, obviously we all had a beginning. So what kind of skills or uh, kind of, you know, best tips can you give to the audience out there that are just either getting into this or even to those of us that are the experts in the field? What does that look like? I mean, what are, what are some of the things that, you know, we can put out there right now that you think helped shape you best? You know, I love coming to the Siege Conference every year because yes. you see the different routes and that people have taken. Mm -hmm. And I think the underlying answer that everyone basically has is a burning desire. 
right. and that there's no one um, method toward getting into video games, you know, whether it be going to a particular university and studying or going under a mentorship or an internship or some people just happen to meet someone and get on a design team and what have you. I love working with students and, and I'm proud to be on the faculty uh, of uh, digital media and design at George Piedmont Technical College and working with the students. Uh, and we find that we get students into the program that want to get into games development from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. Games speak to everyone, which is absolutely what's wonderful. Fantastic. So, so are there any uh, just kind of like just basics in academia that uh, students need to really kind of focus on that you wouldn't maybe think are actually part of the game industry? I guess my advice, being an indie game developer myself, mm -hmm. uh, is that I don't think you, my advice, and uh, once again, I, I say this with complete modesty and that yes. there are other more, more important video game developers with major studios who can give more focused advice. But my experience is, is a lot of indie, uh, a lot of game developers mm -hmm. start in the indie market and in the indie market, you might not have the luxury of just focusing on graphic design, right. just focusing on this. And so I think you're going to want to familiarize yourself with some of the programming languages or scripting languages, mm -hmm. uh, familiarize yourself with some of the graphics tools and the Photoshop and what have you. Right. Familiarize yourself with some basic audio manipulation uh, and programs that might be out there in the event that you're on a very small team mm -hmm. and you need to multitask. Fantastic. So you actually mentioned a team. What is important uh, that you could give best advice, obviously, that you've done with your students or those out there about working within a team? <laughs> I know we all have a good chuckle with that when we talk about teams. I thought the, key, I thought the keynote speech yesterday uh -huh. addressed that issue in a spectacular manner. And, yes. and, and I've been fortunate with my work in TAG that I, I think keeping venues and doors open, whether in business, within team, as long as possible. And mm -hmm. so that if, if you encounter uh, a, a situation in which uh, there's conflict or there's not adequate conversation, I think to make sure that you keep that door open to work through it uh, regardless. Fantastic, fantastic. And can you tell us what is coming up next with Technology Association of Georgia? I mean, obviously, I know you guys have got a lot of things that are approaching this year. Fantastic. So we have an event coming up in October on, uh, uh, appropriately for Halloween, your IT does not be, need to be scary. I love that. <laughs> and it's, it's done in conjunction uh, with CDO and a, a CDW and a couple other companies, yeah. uh, basically on, on servers and uh, logging issues mm -hmm. uh, for companies that are interested in, in larger scale data management. Mm -hmm. uh, the exciting thing that we have coming up on November 15th, it's going to be at the beautiful new Hank Aaron Terrace at SunTrust Park. Fantastic. Uh, is our big uh, digital media and entertainment summit. Uh, for that, we have Lee Thomas as keynote, who's the Georgia's Deputy Commissioner for Film. Mm -hmm. uh, we're giving our Icon of the Industry Award to Sid Topol, mm -hmm. who um, basically started Satellite and Communications for Scientific Atlanta, which was then bought out by Comcast. Right. And we've got an excellent panel of uh, experts uh, from across film, broadcast, music and digital entertainment, of which Andrew Greenberg is going to be the video game representative awesome. on the panel. And as many of you know, Andrew is the voice and very great representation here of SiegeCon, uh, and obviously with the Georgia Game Developers Association. He is really one of the people that helps make a lot of this magic happen here. So we're very happy to have that great association. Fantastic. And uh, just finally, uh, how can people get involved with TAG? Come to come to meetings. A lot of the meetings are free to non-members. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, we have 34 societies, and some of those societies over, overlap in topics of interest. Mm -hmm. uh, TAG is a fantastic organization for networking. Mm -hmm. That uh, you find you go to the events and you talk to people, and you never know, like with Siege, right. who you're talking to or talking with, and it opens up opportunities. So I think it's a fantastic organization to become exactly. involved with. Well, we are very fortunate, obviously, to have 
Tag be such a great partner with the Georgia Game Developers Association here today at SageCon. It was great to run into you downstairs and be able to have you, you know, come and do this interview with us today. So, David, thank you so much. Before we go out, is there anything else you want to leave with the audience? Regina, thank you so much for having us. Once again, we also reciprocate that. We have loved our association with Siege and the Technology Association. We think digital media and interactive is going to be huge within Atlanta. Fantastic. Uh, yep. And come to our summit on November 15th. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Th you being here you. today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay.